evening is 25th of September. What a beautiful day to listen to BG Evening News. I'm Brian and I'm Grayson. Apple have recently launched the new iPhone 10 at the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference. The iPhone 10 features an all-screen display and the casing is made of durable glass which is water and dust resistant. However, it is only available in silver or space grey. For its size and display, the 5.8 inch Super Retina Display 2 is the first organic LED panel that rise to the standard of iPhone. This OLED is thinner and wet less than the other display technologies because OLED displays do not require backlighting. Besides, OLED displays also have a wide viewing angle up to 160 degrees even in bright light and use only 2 to 10 volts to operate. The HDR display supports Dolby Vision and HDR10 which together make your photo and video content look even more amazing. The addition of True Tone dynamically adjusts the white balance of the display to match the surrounding light for a more natural viewing experience. Also, the glass bag design on iPhone X unlocks a wireless charging feature through an Apple Design wireless charging accessory known as Air Power. Now for the most amazing part, iPhone X comes with a new revolutionary Face ID function. function which use the phone through that camera system and the A11 Bionic processor to accurately map and recognize a face. These advanced depth sensing technologies work together to securely unlock iPhone, enable Apple Pay, and gain access to secure apps and many more new features such as the animated emoji and emoji. On the other side of the world, Indonesian National Vaconology Center said in a statement on Sunday night that Mount Agong's seismic energy is increasing and has the potential to erupt. The Red Cross says more than 42,000 people have been evacuated from their homes near an active volcano in Bali. As authorities warn, it could erupt. The area around Mount Agong has seen hundreds of tremors and signs of magma rising to the surface in recent days. Therefore, authorities have imposed a 12 km exclusion zone around the mountain and issued their highest level alert on Friday. Fortunately, the island's main tourist areas and flights remain unaffected for now. Moving on to Asia news, a car was seriously damaged when part of an aeroplane's wing landed on it in the Japanese city of Osaka. The piece, which weighed more than 4kg, fell from a KLM Royal Dutch Airline plane shortly after it departed from Kansai International Airport on Saturday. It damaged the car's roof and smashed its rear window after falling more than 2,000 meters. Luckily, no one was injured in the incident, but KLM has launched an investigation. The piece broke off from the wing of a Boeing 777, which had more than 300 passengers on board but the flight landed safely at Astemden Skipper Airport later on Saturday. For the sports section, Malaysia badminton player Dato Lee Chong Wei's wish to win his 100th career final did not materialize when he was dethroned by Victor Axelsen at the Japan Open. On Sunday, the 34-year-old Malaysian former world number one is pleased with his overall performance. Despite losing to reigning world champion Axelsen of Denmark with a score of 14-21, 21-19, 14-21 in 75 minutes in the men's single final in Tokyo. This loss marked Lee's second defeat to the 23-year-old and Selsen in 11 meetings. Lee, a six-time Japan Open winner, did try to raise the game in the decider with some deceptive and tricky shots, but nothing could be done to dose the fire in Axelsen. This became Axelsen's first Japan Open title and Denmark's first since Peter Gate won in 1999. This is the end of today's news. Thank you for listening to BG Evening News. See you again tomorrow at the same time, same channel. I'm Brian and I'm Grayson. Have a nice day.